Azenaida, one of the most memorable characters in all of Armored Core, and is considered the main reason why Last Raven is the most difficult entry in the series. I am of course talking about her ultimate form, because if you thought that the helicopter and Balteus were gatekeepers in Armored Core 6, well, you've seen nothing yet. She is the best of the best, and is basically Melania if Melania decided to pilot a walking war machine. I'm still not sure if I like B rank more than the higher ranks. I find myself fighting the same opponent more often than not, but there is more build variety. Boy did I just eat my own words as I come across a dual Zimmerman build of all things. What the hell? Oh no, you are conveniently lagging right now, and I don't like that one bit. Oh, not again. Holy lag, Batman. Is this person lag switching? Awesome, they have invisible attacks now. You know, I like to give players the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're just not on a stable connection. That's not always going to be their fault. Oh, no. Besides that scare in the beginning, that wasn't too bad. Hopefully it stays that way. Don't tell me it's happening again. Yup, you're losing and conveniently your connection's on the fritz. That's weird. Sorry, but I refuse to lose to somebody that either exploits the game or has a crummy connection. Dear God, dual Zimmermans again? And now I gotta worry about being bunked on top of that?
I'm starting to think that B rank won't be the laid back, chill experience I was hoping for. Well, at least this dual Zimmerman build wasn't laggy, and I respect their choice of the pile bunker. Good game. Time to unleash Ultimate Zenaida. Fun fact, I did enter this for a design contest that Cleric was holding. Unfortunately, it didn't win. There were just a lot more recognizable things like Gundams and whatnot. Holy crap, is this a long lost relative of the Rat Catcher? Okay, so charging the Coral Rifle did me no favor, so I'm gonna stop doing that. I know I gotta close in, but those Gatling guns are gonna tear right through me if I'm not careful. Wait a second. Alright, the regular Coral Rifle shots I think are more consistent compared to the charged ones. Oh, I thought I was done for. When I saw my weapons were overheated, I was convinced it was over. GG. Glad I'm not running the regular Zenaida build because that explosive thrower would just end it all.
I am pretty sure that most of the damage I took was from the explosive thrower. I gotta keep my distance. Fun matches like this are the reason why I've been enjoying B rank so far. Unfortunately, it still has its fair share of meta builds. It is what it is. Recreating Zenaida's Fascinator was a lot of fun. Sadly, there are no back-mounted rockets in the game, so I had to settle for the Javelin Beta as a substitute. The arms also don't have the greatest melee specialization, however they still look the closest to what the original had. When it came to Ultimate Zenaida, I had my doubts it was even going to be usable in Ranked. Like I mentioned earlier, I had made this for a design contest. I just ended up switching a few things and hoping for the best. Thankfully, it packs quite a punch, minus the downtime from some of the weapons overheating. Especially the Pulse Cannon. Pulse weapons in general desperately need a buff. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Until next time, take care.